All right, well, happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben, a church you can call home where we honor God, love families, serve others, and pursue excellence. Amen. So we want to welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all those of you that are joining on by audio and video. So hallelujah. Prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. We're going to be talking today about old is out. The new is in. Amen. We're getting towards the end of the year. Amen. Yeah. We just had an awesome, hopefully you had a, a great, 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 happy Thanksgiving. Amen. And it's always a day of Thanksgiving, not just once a year, you know, when we celebrate a Thanksgiving according to what the calendar says, you know, but Thanksgiving on a daily basis, yeah. not just once a year, and give him thanks, you know. First thing you do when you wake up every morning, you know, or before you go to bed or during the day, whenever you want to and yeah. fe felt led to do, just say, <laughs> thank you, Father. Thank you, yes. Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You can give thanks at all times, you at know. At all times. Woo! That, 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 that's also called relationship. We have a relationship with Him. Amen. That's Christianity. Having a relationship with Him. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and He wants to correct us. He's our Heavenly Father, so you know, that's what fathers do. They correct, amen, but they also bless and encourage. So, let's remember these things. We have a great message for you, of course. Old is out, and the yes. new is in, and we have some scripture for you, so get ready to write, amen? Yeah. But before we get going, grab your Bible, grab your sword, soldier of God. Amen. This is your word. Boy, yes. That's my words. Yes. <laughs> let's say it like you mean it. Amen. So yeah. let's make this declaration together. Right. This is this my Bible. Is my Bible. I, I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's remember that we fight a spiritual battle on a daily basis. And if you're not in the word of God, you lose. Amen. So we need to be in the word and we need to be living the word, Amen. confessing the word of God. Amen. You get it in you, read it, meditate it and study it. Amen. And learn it and then confess it. Speak yes. it out. Amen. It's a spoken word of God. Amen. Amen. And take authority. That's when you take authority, when you speak it out. Yeah. Take an authority. And when you submit yourself to God, resist the devil, he's got to go. Yeah. Amen. Man. <laughs> He's had us on the run for too long. That's it. It's time we put him on the run. Uh -huh. And we let him know, you're a defeated foe. That's and it. you belong under my feet. Yes, it. And walk all over him, you know what I'm saying? You better move or else you're going to get walked on, you know. That's so it. praise God. We're talking about the old out and the new is in. Uh -huh. And of course, uh, let's open our Bibles to uh, 2 Corinthians 5.17. That comes to mind right quick. Amen. So yeah, we, he, we, we read and we study. And we use the word of God. Amen. It's the truth. This is the yeah. truth we study here. Because the truth is going to set us free from all mindsets, from all traditions, from all negative things. Amen. Yeah. So we need to go in his word. And this, the truth is going to set us free. Amen. I don't need these. Thank God my eyes are healed. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. All of you need a touch of God right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My eyes are healed. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says what? Therefore, if any person, it says man being Christ, yeah. he is a new creature. Yeah. You're a new person. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we'll dig into that a little more. But it says old is gone. The old things are passed away. Yes. Behold, all things have become things new. Have become you know, but the enemy, remember the spiritual battle is the mind. The uh -huh. mind is the battlefield. Yes, and he's going to bring all kind of negative things upon you. You go into the world and you're going to be bombarded with negative things, amen? So you got to renew your mind with the Word of God. Study the Word so your spirit, man, is growing and maturing in the things of God. But also you got to renew your mind not once a day, once a month, or once a, once a year, but often. often. Renew your mind often as needed. Renew your mind with the Word of God because you know what? The negative thoughts don't stop coming. And there's always, you're always thinking. And it's either going to be positive or it's going to be negative. It's going to be good or it's going to be bad. But you make the choice. I say, man, that's not for me. I'm not receiving that. And you don't have to receive it. Just tell it where to go. 
I said, yeah. man, delete, you know? And some of us are real good at, at computers, you know? And we know where the delete button is. But we need to delete all the negative things the enemy tries to put on us. The battlefield is the mind. And he can put thoughts there, but you don't have to do it. Amen? Renew it, release it, delete it, let it go. Amen? Cast it on him. Amen? Amen? It's time we start doing that because we start carrying all these extra weights, all these extra sin, you know, all this extra heavy stuff. And the Bible tells us to cast it on him. Give it to me. Why are you still holding on to it? And I'm gonna, we're going to repeat a whole lot of this in a few minutes. Anyway, let me read it to you. You cannot start each day of your life if you keep redoing the past. Uh -huh. The past, yesterday, is gone. Amen? So let it go. <laughs> Amen? We're, some of us are still in the past. Mm. And we got to get to the present where God can use us now. Amen? Amen. You got to let go and let God. Amen. We've heard that so many times. Listen to this. Never start your new day on neutral. <laughs> you know, most of us have a vehicle. And if you put your car in neutral, you ain't going nowhere. You could be there all day. You can press on the gas all you want to, but it's just going to stay there. Or park either one of them. Some of us stay in park all day. <laughs> We need to put it in drive. Even reverse takes you somewhere. Yeah. But most of us as children of God, we got to stay. He says, press on. Yeah. Man, put it in drive and press on. You know, first I spend time with him. And then once I spend time with him, I put myself in drive. I'm going to press on to whatever yeah. God has for me. God has something for you. Well, he never speaks to me. Well, it's time. <laughs> You open the Bible. It's yeah, time you open it. up and, and, and speak to him. Because he's been speaking and knocking at your door, but we never let him in. Mm -hmm. Amen? We got to let him in. So don't start on neutral or don't start in, luke, uh, in lukewarm. Neutral is lukewarm. Not taking sides in the middle of the road. Being this passionate. Mm -hmm. we, we're to be passionate. But... I, I, we're just going to stay in the middle. We're not going to go either way. We're not taking sides. We just want to be, listen, if you don't take God's side, you're automatically in the enemy's side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you might as well <laughs> join in with him. That's it. And I, if you want to be on the winning team, join God's team. Yes. Because yes. he's never lost before. That's it. So get on God's team, but don't start on neutral. And don't say, hey, I just want to stay comfy. I want to stay here. No. Mm -hmm. Revelation 3.16 says this, and King James says, So then, because thou, you, are lukewarm and neither hot or neither cold nor hot, I will spew you out of my mouth. Uh -huh. The new King James says, I will vomit you. All of us know what vomit is. Throw up, puke, you know. <laughs> he says, I'll spit you out of my mouth. I'll, 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 I'll vomit you out of my mouth. Amen. So, Let's not do this. Let's take a side. Lord, thank you for waking me up. Yes, yes. Amen. And I'm ready mm -hmm. to do whatever it is you want me to do. But yeah. first, I just want to give you thanks. Mm -hmm. I want to praise you, mm -hmm. you know, and build yourself up in him before you go anywhere. Yes, yes. <laughs> Amen. Because he's our first priority. Yes. He's on the throne. We keep him on the throne. Amen. Mm -hmm. Keep him there. Mm -hmm. Let me let me give you a few definitions here. Lukewarm. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't use this word, but... <laughs> I didn't even know how to pronounce it, but it says, uh, tap it, tap it, tip it, tip it, it mm -hmm. means lukewarm. Mm -hmm. I like to take a hot bath <laughs> or a hot shower. Mm -hmm. I don't like warm. And, and, and if, I, if I'm going to drink coffee or a hot yeah. drink, beverage, I want it to be hot, not lukewarm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So tap it is a definition. Uh, lukewarm meaning lack of conviction. Oh, boy. Uh, means half-hearted, uh. having or showing little zeal, uh, mm. little faith, mm. little uh, uh, passion, mm. or having being unexcited or mm. having no enthusiasm whatsoever. I'm just lukewarm. Mm. Okay, I just want to play the field. I just want to stay neutral. Mm. I don't want to go either way. Mm. Well, you're gonna to have to decide. Yeah. Amen. If you're a, ch a child of God, you better get on. God's side. I say, I'm on God's side. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. But 
do not be this is what lukewarm i just gave you some definitions also it's uncaring i don't care i don't care i don't care there's so not so many things going on but the bible says to pray if my people pray yes he says he'll change and he'll heal he'll do amen but we need to pray about it amen. if i don't care well you know hey i don't care what's happening i don't care how many people go into hell mm. but you better care you know yeah. if he saved you if you got saved and you're going to heaven it's up to you he says now we're his ministers of reconciliation yes. Yes. bringing people into the kingdom of god yeah why are you passing it up well i don't care i'm in so mm. <laughs> if i'm in i don't care about nobody else well that's not being lovable that's and that's it. not being compassionate that's it. amen we got to have the love and compassion of him when you see people you see him with the love and compassion of christ Yes. Amen. Ooh, man, I'm preaching better than you ain't been in me now. <laughs> and here's another thing is, I just want to be Joe Cool. I just want to be cool. Amen. I just want to please everybody. I want to be nice to everybody. Mm. I don't care how cool you are. You ain't going to please everybody. That's it. That's Somebody going to tell you off what you're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody going to tell you where mm. to go. Mm. Mm, come on. Your temperature is going to rise. Lukewarm Christian. What is a lukewarm Christian? Mm. We've talked about this. Lukewarm Christian, a part-time Christian. Mm. Remember, you can write this down. Part-time Christian is no match to a full-time devil. Mm -hmm. Amen. You could be a Christian and still be defeated because you're not doing anything. You're just standing there. You're just mm -hmm. staying there. You just you just being lukewarm, and I'm undecided. Mm. Well, the enemy is going to have you. Yes, he will. Amen. If you're not renewing your, if you're not studying the word, renewing your mind, real soon you're gonna fall back, yeah. and the enemy in the world is gonna have you yeah. quick. Amen. You know, match <clears throat> is it. a spiritual battle we're fighting, mm -hmm. and you can't physically win. That's it. Amen. You gotta get in the word and use the word of God. Yes. It's a spiritual battle. You can mm -hmm. only defeat it with the word of God. Yes. You can overcome with the word of God. Amen. Part-time Christian is someone who claims to be a believer mm -hmm. in Jesus, but does not appear to be committed to Christ. Mm -hmm. We got to make a choice. Mm -hmm. We got to be committed. Amen. And yeah. I only want to encourage you: be committed to Him. Amen. Yes. Be committed. Many occasionally attend church, rarely read the Bible, and dabbles or dips into or toys around or tries out mm -hmm. the sinful things of the world. And we try to hide ourselves, mm. but God sees us all the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He says, if you're a child of God, you have the greater one in you. Yes. And he goes, he says, I'll go when you go. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. <laughs> so wherever you try to hide, he's with you. Amen. He sees it all. So we want to start rejoicing by being glad for each and every new day he has given us. Amen. Yeah. Each and every new year, we got a new year coming up. So thank you, Lord, for a new year is coming up. But thank yes. you, most of all, for each and every day he's given us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Whoo, hallelujah. So we start by what? Praise and worshiping him. Giving, giving him praise. Giving thanks to him. And start with a positive, a winning, a grateful <coughs> attitude. Attitude yes. is a big word, you know. <laughs> a lot of us have attitudes and some of us have bad attitudes negative attitudes and we need, we need to change that yes. especially if you're a child of god mm -hmm. amen you need to have a positive yes better attitude than what you have amen we yes. uh, we, we have to change it before we go anywhere mm -hmm. and we want god to use us and we're down in the dumps or we got bad attitudes we 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 we, we got to change that amen we got to change it Start setting the right priorities. Jesus first. Matthew 6, 33. We read that last week. Let's read it again. Yes. The oh, there it is. I lost my Bible. It's right there in front of me. Where's my Bible? Hmm. Matthew 6, 33 and 34. Sometimes we just forget to read 34. 6, 33 and 34. Are you there? No. Okay, Matthew 6. Matthew uh, chapter 6, verse 33 and 34. It says, but seek first what? The kingdom, the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Mm -hmm. And 34 says this, 
Take therefore no thought for morrow, for the morrow, mm -hmm. for the morrow shall take care or take thoughts for the things of itself. Yes. Sufficient unto the day of the evil thereof. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, the Amplified says this, but seek, aim at, and strive after, first of all, his kingdom and his righteousness, his ways of doing and being right. Mm -hmm. And then all these things taken together will be given you besides. Mm -hmm. And 34 says, do not worry or be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will have worries and anxieties of its own, mm -hmm. sufficient for each day in its own trouble. So mm -hmm. <laughs> you start worrying about days ahead, you know, there's plenty of, uh, there's plenty, plenty, plenty uh, of uh, problems there, you know, and it's got its own worries and its own anxieties, you know. Mm -hmm. Let's take care of today, mm -hmm. one day at a time. The praise and worship team did a great job singing it one day at a time. That's what we need to do. Remind ourselves, yes, Lord, teach me today one day at a time. Mm -hmm. That's what we need to do. Don't worry. overload yourselves with all these other things or or worry yourselves about mm -hmm. the past. And, you know, you, you're not a prisoner of, of the past. Let That's it go. It. Amen. It. You've been delivered. Yes. So, so don't live in the past. That's it. <clears throat> mm. Let go of past. Cares, let go of past sin, failures, mistake, problems, worries, lacks, bad habits, bad attitudes, and prepare for the new day. Yes. Prepare yourselves for this new day. Amen. You know, prepare yourselves for the new and coming uh, new year. Mm -hmm. Amen. Start every day by staying positive in a negative world. Yes. By staying positive uh, in, 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 in this negative world in circumstances. Yes. Whatever the situation you may be in, just stay positive. And how am I going to stay strong? How am I going to stay positive in the things of God? By having Him and reading His Word and having His Word and confessing His Word over these things, over these situations, you know, and sharing the Word, you know. But brother so-and-so says, God can't use you. Brother so-and-so says, this is happening, that's happening. And I say, no. This is what the word of God says. Yes. And I'm going to stand on his word on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I'm not going there anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stay positive in a negative world. Mm -hmm. All you got to do is turn the TV on and all you hear is negative. Yes. You go out in the world, wherever you happen to go, store, it doesn't matter, shop, wherever is negative. Yeah. You know, so you be, you are the only good news going somewhere to happen for somebody. You're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever be around or hear or see. Man, that's awesome. See, that's how important you are for God. Amen. It's sharing the good news of God. Sharing the gospels, the good news. Amen. Going somewhere to happen for somebody. Psalms 118 says what? Psalms 118, 24 says, This is the day the Lord has made. And I will be sad. No. No. <laughs> I will be glad, glad. and it says glad. rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. He's made. He's given us another day. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. But we start looking at circumstances. Mm -hmm. We start looking at situations. We start looking at where we are. Mm -hmm. Instead of confessing what the word of God says. Yeah. Rejoice and be glad. I have given you another day. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Lord, for giving me another day. I want to line up with what you want me to do mm -hmm. and complete everything you want me to do this day. Amen. So Amen. we go different ways. Yeah. <laughs> I can't go where you go. That's but right. you know what we do is share the gospel. Yes. Share the good news everywhere yes. we go. Everywhere Ministers we go. of reconciliation. Yes. You're his mouth. You say you're his ambassador. Mm -hmm. You're his mouthpiece wherever you happen to go. You know, everywhere you go, you hear somebody sharing negative things, oh, yes. sharing oh, bad news, God. sharing bad words. Mm. You hear it, but you don't have to receive it. Mm -hmm. Just let it go. Amen. Amen. Give yourself a spirit. Wait, I'm getting ahead of myself, but we give ourselves a spiritual bath yes. every day with the Word of God. Get all that mess out. Yeah. You know? Renew your mind with the things of yes. with the Word yes. of God. Amen. But Amen. you are a minister of reconciliation. Yes. Bringing the good, the good news. Bringing His light. 
into this dark world. Amen. Okay. Praise yeah. God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Start every day praising Him. Set new priorities right, rejoicing and glad in a new God-given day. Yeah. Staying positive in this negative world. Renewing your mind with things of God. Mm -hmm. Keeping a grateful and winning attitude. Not bad, yes. not negative, not losing, and not regretting attitudes. Man. Yeah. But staying positive. Nobody can do that for you except yourself. Amen. And you got to stay up. You got to keep your spiritual batteries up and charged up. The Bible says, stir yourself yeah. up. Amen. If you don't stir yourself up, nobody will. Mm -hmm. Amen. So if you're down in the dumps, <laughs> say, wait a minute. You know why? Because I haven't spent no time with him. Yes, yes. I need to spend some time with him mm -hmm. and get myself stirred up yes. and get myself Amen. up to know, Amen. hey, I'm That's a child good. of God. I don't yeah. have to be down in the dumps. I don't have to be scratching with the chickens and mm -hmm. wallowing with the pigs. Mm -hmm. I could be flying with the mm -hmm. eagles. Amen. Yes. I'm high. It's okay. You know, hey, we may have some ups and downs. You know, he's God in the mountain. And he's God in the valley. Yes. And he never leaves you nor forsakes you. He's always with you. Amen. When we know these things, we don't have to be in the dumps. That's it. Amen. Say, Lord, I thank you that you're with me. How many times do you think, you think uh, Jesus was always up and up because uh, he came and he, was, he knew he was going to be sacrificed? Mm. And he faced every day and every day got closer for him to be sacrificed? Mm. What do you think? He was human. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he knew these things. So we have to spend time with the Father and say, yes. Father, Dad, I need mm -hmm. your strength. I need your strength. So we could get it. What about us? We need to go through the same thing. Yes. Heavenly Father, I need your strength each yeah. and every day just to fulfill what you want me to do. Yes. Thank Amen. You. We're not exempt. Jesus said the example. And he said we can go to the throne. We can go to the throne room. Mm -hmm. Enemy's not allowed in there. Mm -hmm. But we can go. Yeah. Because we're his children. Amen. So let's remember these things, you know, little things sometimes we we, we forget, mm -hmm. amen? Again, listen, stand in drive mode, pressing on, moving forward, never idle, neutral, or lukewarm. Yeah. That's not for me, mm -hmm. you know? Hey, you know what? I just want to take me a day off and, and just be in the comfy zone mm -hmm. or be in neutral today, mm -hmm. you know? How many days you think Jesus took off? Mm. Amen. He was pressing on each and yes. every day. He said, I must be about my father's business. Yes, yes. <laughs> we must be about our heavenly father's business yes, yes. each and every day. You know, when you're sitting there uh, just being comfy and not doing anything, mm. you could have reached people yeah. out there. You could have spoke to people and mm. shared with people instead of just being yes. idle and doing nothing. Yeah. That's it. You're not hurting nobody but yourself. That's it. Amen. I mean, you want to do be about the Father's business, mm. and you're not going to do anything mm. just sitting down. Not unless you're just praying. Mm. You can reach people praying, but you could be about the Father's business yes. going out. You know, Amen. when you need those four walls uh -huh. <laughs> in your house, and you can go where I don't go, mm -hmm. and and I can go where you don't go. Yeah. But we're all the body of Christ, and we're yes. going out to do Father's business. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Taking care of Father's business. <laughs> Forgetting the past, let go of the past. Mm -hmm. Whatever sins, failures, setbacks, cares, anxieties, we all go through these things. Yeah. And the enemy uses all these things to remind us. Mm -hmm. And he puts his thoughts there. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he uses people to remind us. And you need to know and say, you know what? I gave it to my Heavenly Father. Amen. And he's, he, he took it and I left it there. So I, you're not going to use that on me anymore. You got to be bold enough to say, you can't use that on me anymore. I confessed it, it's gone, and so get lost. Yes. <laughs> Yesterday's past, it's gone. Live for today. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, manana never comes. Why? Because manana is always today. Mm -hmm. So we're living for today. Mm -hmm. Things to clean, real mind. Remember, the battlefield is the mind. Yes. It needs to be cleaned often, renewed often. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go to Romans 12 and 2. Amen. Old is out, new is in. Romans, the book of Romans, chapter 12. Hallelujah. Let's, uh, well, let's start with first. It starts off with Christian conduct. <laughs> That's us. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, 
acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Now here's two. And be not conformed to this world, but be what? Transform. Be transformed by the what? Renewing your mind that ye may prove what is good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> This is this is this is awesome. Let me read it to you from the Amplified. The Amplified says, "Do not be conformed to this world, this age, fashion after and adopt to its extended, extended external, uh, superficial, superficial customs, but be transformed, changed by the entire renewal of your mind by its new ideas and new attitude, yes. so that you will prove for yourselves." What is good and acceptable and perfect will of God, even the things which is good and acceptable and perfect in His sight for you. Man, that's a lot. But we need to know that we, you know, when we eat, we have dirty dishes. Mm. But you know, we can we take them and we can wash them out and use them again. But our mind gets polluted. We need to renew it with the Word of God and get all the negative stuff out and or cast those things on him amen we, we it don't have to be there all the time it's just going to bombard you each and every day and haunt you every day and just hearing the same things over and over and over i said wait a minute i've confessed it's gone if jesus has uh forgiven you and forgotten about it you need to do the same thing why are you still holding on to it he forgave you he forgot about it and we're still holding on to it let it go amen let it go Whew, man, somebody needed that. I'll take it. So, things to clean our minds. <laughs> Give ourselves a spiritual bath. Clean anything that tries to attach to you. Lord, cleanse us. And don't take back what is detached from you. Whatever He takes from you, don't go back and get it. I've shared this many times, but when you go dump your trash in the dumpster outside, you never bring it back in the house. No. You let it stay. Man, it's a mess. It stinks. Well, say it stinks. <laughs> if you've given it to him and, and cast it on him, don't take it back. Or whatever he's taken from you, let it go. He's going to bring new friends, new family. He's going to bring new things yeah, your way. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Thank you, friend. I'm trusting him. Whatever he brings around you, you can trust. Amen. He has forgotten. He has forgiven and forgotten us. Don't hold on to the past. Stop remembering what God has already forgiven and forgotten. You need to write that down. Stop remembering what God has already forgiven and forgotten. But the enemy is going to be see to it. And I'll just say people around us will remind us when you're trying to move up and people are trying to hold you down. Yeah. Yep. You ever catch any crab? Mm -hmm. You ever oh, catch yeah. any crabs? Yeah. You put them in a the container, uh -huh. and one of them tries to get out, and the rest of them pull you back down. <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. You know, they, one of them just about made it to the top and got out, but the rest of them will pull you down, and that's what the world does. You know, they just want to pull you down. They don't want to see you succeed. No. They don't want to see you uh, move up. Yes, yeah. uh -huh. They want to keep you down, yeah. and they want to speak bad about you, even though they're jealous and don't want to try it for themselves. Yeah. Because they don't want to let go. Yeah. They don't want to let God. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Psalms 103, uh, verse 12, New King James says this. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions, our sin from us. As far as the east is from the west, they may be coming together. Yeah. We just keep going. It's, that's, that's how much he does. Mm -hmm. As far as the east is from the west, infinite. Mm -hmm. Amen. Infinite means unmeasurable, endless, boundless, yes. countless, unlimited. Mm -hmm. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Father. Yeah. Philippians uh, 3. Let's go to Philippians chapter 3 and look at verse uh, 12 and 14. We've, uh, we've read this before, but you know what? When you read it again, man, it's got a new meaning to me. Uh-huh. It means something else to me. That means we're growing. We're growing. We're maturing in the things of God. Amen. Philippians 3. Philippians chapter 3. Are you there? Yeah. What verse? I'm starting at verse 12. Uh -huh. Mine starts off with this. The high calling of God. Listen. Uh -huh. 
That's the way he sees it. We must see it the same way. We have a high calling from yeah. God. Amen. We're waiting for the world to qualify us. We're waiting for the world to call us. And God has already called us. Yes, yes. He called us. Each and every one of us. You're a child of God. He's called us, anointed you, qualified you, whatever it, whatever it is. He's equipped you with everything to fulfill what he wants you to do. Amen. Amen. So, verse 12 says, Not as though I have already attained either we're already perfect, but I follow at, uh, after it. If that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. And verse 13 says, Brethren, I count not myself to be apprehended, but this one thing I do. Yeah. Forgiving those things which are behind yeah. and reaching forth unto those things which are before Amen. And then now 14 says, I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Forgetting those things which are behind me, mm -hmm. forget about the past. Yes. It's gone. It's not coming back. Amen. Thank we have God. we have good memories of the past. It's okay. But you know, if you've got past hurts or past sin or whatever the enemy's trying to hold you down, mm -hmm. let it go. Let it go. It's gone, you know. Let's not live there anymore. Yes, Let's stay in the presence with Him and yes. serve Him in the presence now, you know. <laughs> like like we read a few minutes ago, stop remembering when God has already forgiven and forgotten. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to write that down somewhere and read it every day. It's gone. He's forgiven and forgotten it. I need to do the same thing. But the yes. enemy, remember the battlefield is the mind, and he's going to put thoughts there. Yeah, well, you, not you. Everybody else, but not you. He tries to isolate you. Mm. Amen. So, I mean, in the New Living Translation says, I don't mean to say that I've already achieved these things or that I've already reached perfection, mm. but I press on to possess the, 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 that perfection for which Christ Jesus first possessed me. Verse 13, no, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it. Mm -hmm. But I focus on one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. Amen. Amen. We got to keep moving. Yeah. Amen. Pressing on each and every day because there's better things and good things coming. And verse 14 says, I press to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, yeah. is calling us. Mm -hmm. Amen. So <laughs> we're talking about each and every day. Yeah. And we're yes. talking about a new coming year, real yes. soon. <laughs> we got one more month to go. <laughs> Amen. And we'll be 23. <laughs> but you know what? There's great opportunities. Yes. There's new assignments. Amen. There's new there's new beginnings. All right. Amen. So praise God. And you can you can do these things. You can have these things. Yes. And we start thinking positive instead of negative. Right. Amen. And uh don't remember this. We say it all the time, but death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yeah. Meaning, death and life are in the words you speak. Yeah. So be selective of the words you speak. That's it. If it's not going to bless you, if it's not going to bless somebody, yeah. don't say it. That's it. Amen. Be selective. Yes. Amen. Put a guard and confess only the positive things Amen. because you're going to reap what you sow mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. whatever you plant words are seeds mm -hmm. and you plant those seeds and they are going to grow yes but they're going to grow in you not in whoever you told off yes yes it's, it's going to grow it's going to come back in you in your garden in your garden mm -hmm. so i don't want no weeds and uh, no, negative things in my garden amen mm -hmm. <laughs> so start fresh on what we want to accomplish personally we got better better health new businesses and new goals yeah. amen new things personally and spiritually spiritual goals of maturing and growing in him you know you see a ladder you got a, one rung at a time mm -hmm. one step at a time one day at a time but we're growing why because we're going up mm -hmm. we're not going down we're going up amen okay. and we're growing in the things of god amen. don't say i can't I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That's what the Word of God says. So don't say, well, I can't read the Bible 
You know, I can't read, I can't, I can't learn scripture. I can't, I can't, I can't. No. If the word of God says you can do all things through Christ, then it says, hey, I'm a good reader. I'm a good, I have a, the mind of Christ. And I can retain all these things. I can learn these things because the word of God says so. So I'm going to confess the positive things. Don't let the enemy. And what does he use? People. Yeah. People, distractions, things, excuses hold you back from what God has called you to do or accomplish. Yes. Amen. On a daily basis. This is on a daily basis you can do. Mm -hmm. But don't let enemy, that's the devil, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> don't let the enemy, people, if, if people are not for God, enemies going to use them whether they know it or not yeah amen but <laughs> if, if they cuss you out then they, that's not a godly thing no so they're doing they're being used by the enemy mm -hmm. and don't even know it oh no right. nobody's gonna tell me nobody can do you know physically they want to be tough mm -hmm. but spiritually they no match right to the enemy they no match mm -hmm. amen so don't let the enemy, people, distractions, things, excuses hold you back from what God, God has called you to do and accomplish. Let's keep that in mind. God has called you. Okay? It's not just somebody. God has called you. That's how important you are. And that's how important you need to see yourself. Yeah. You need to see yourself the way God sees you. Right. He sees you a winner. He sees you a champion. Uh -huh. He sees you an overcomer. Yes. So why are you still in the dumps? Uh -huh. You shouldn't be in the dumps. That's see it. yourself uh, important, highly favored of yes. God person. Amen. Man. Woo. That's good. Forgetting the past and pressing on mm -hmm. daily. Mm -hmm. Not just once in a while, you know. Let's not be just part-time believers you know but full-time believers amen when jesus came as soon as he hit here mm -hmm. he was full-time mm -hmm. and he fulfilled what father god told him to do yes, yes. He even sacrifice himself you know he was sacrificed for god so loved the world he sacrificed his only begotten right. son and jesus knew all this before he came mm -hmm. but he fulfilled what father god told him to do yes so we can fulfill what he's calling us to do right Praise God. How am I going to find him? Well, you need to spend time with him. <laughs> but one of them is, we're all called to be ministers of reconciliation, yes. bringing people to Christ. Yes. You know? So you got to watch your words and watch your actions because mm -hmm. people are watching you. Yeah. Here's a few lessons we can learn from the Apostle Paul. He says, <clears throat> we all have an imperfect past. <clears throat> Sin, fault, and we were ashamed of some wish we had never done. Mm. Wish that no one knew. But we must forgive and forget. And again, we got to press on. That's a, that's, that's a very important word. Yes. We got to press on. Uh -huh. Amen. I've confessed it. I've given it to him. He's forgotten it. Forgiven, forgiven me and forgotten about it. Mm -hmm. So now I need to do the same thing. Yeah. And I need to press on. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to put some faith, growth, we got to grow, mature, and step out in faith mm -hmm. and do what God has called us to do. And you can do it because you can do all things through Christ. Yeah. Don't be a slave of the past. Don't be a prisoner of the past. Paul says, I've done the worst. Mm -hmm. Some of us say the same thing. You know, I've done so bad, and we've had people just side with us. You know, you confess to the wrong people, and they'll just say, yeah, you've done real bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 but Paul says I've done the worst mm -hmm. and there's no way I could ever be used by Jesus mm -hmm. God is not looking for perfect sinless people That's he's true. looking for available mm -hmm. people we need to make ourselves available to him amen all Bible heroes sin not perfect and used by God yeah Amen. Peter denied him three times. Mm -hmm. And Jesus could have said, I'm not going to use you anymore mm -hmm. for what you did. Of course, Jesus had already told him, you'll deny me three times before the cock grows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he did. But then, 
Jesus used it mightily yes. when he went and preached. And thousands came, were saved, and came to the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he's not giving up on you. You've given up on him. Mm -hmm. And you let friends and people tell you that you're no good anymore. <laughs> that God can't use you anymore. And you keep hearing that over and over. That's not true. That's not what the word of God says. Right. Amen. So just confess it. Get that out of you. And press on. Yeah. Say God is Jesus saying, you know, hey, dust yourself off. Get up. You know, there's yeah. one thing. All of us can take a fall. What we need to do is know that, and we we, we can we can we all all of us fall, but here's your choice: is you have a choice of getting up or staying down. Yeah, yeah. What do you choose? Are you gonna stay down and let the world and people and distractions keep you down, or are you gonna get up and say, "Go ahead, I'm sinning against you. I repent." And he says, "Dust yourself, press yeah. on. I'm not finished with you yet." That's it. That's what he's gonna say. So you can just. Stay in the mother groups, and you can just stay down and be a, a prisoner of the past, or you can just say, Hey, I failed, you know. Lord, you know, He already knows. Yes. All you need to do is let Him know and say, hey, Forgive me, and He will, and forget about it. And now He says, You forget about it, and dust yourself, and let's go. Yeah. We've got more things to do, mm -hmm. and He's not finished with you yet. You think He just put you here to do nothing? No, he, He's got. Things for us to do. Listen to this. <laughs> Sin keeps believers, Christians, from fulfilling what God has called us and equipped us to do. Mm -hmm. And sin will take you further than you want to go, keep you longer than you want to stay, and cost you more mm -hmm. than you want to pay. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. And uh, let me see. I want to read this to you before uh, before we go off here. Just, just quickly, if you think God cannot use you because of your past or you're not fall, remember the Bible heroes. See if you recognize some of these Bible heroes God used. <laughs> <laughs> it says Noah was a drunk. Oh boy. That was just one, one of the bad faults he had. But Noah was a drunk. Abraham was too old. You know, some of us disqualify ourselves, you know, when we say, well, I'm too old, God can't use me. You know, I was parked in front of Porters one day and I was reading when uh, COVID hit, you know, and, and they were doing special times for <laughs> different peoples. And I'm looking at the sign and it says, senior citizens, you know, uh, are can come in first, you know, from whatever time to whatever time. <laughs> and then the rest from this time. And I'm looking at it and finally it's done to me. <laughs> wow. I guess I'm a senior citizen. <laughs> so God can use you regardless. Don't see it. Don't disqualify yourself. Right. Amen. You're qualified according to him. Uh, Jacob was a liar. Mm. We've all been there. Mm. Leah was ugly. I mean, holy. <laughs> God used them anyway. Okay. Yes. Hey, so whatever. Don't let these things hold you back. Mm -hmm. uh, Moses was a stutter. He told he told God, he said, I, I, I can't, you know, because I stuttered too much. Mm -hmm. Excuses. Uh, Gideon was afraid. Samson, well, he had long hair. God can't use people with long hair. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jeremiah and Timothy were too young. Mm -hmm. And uh, also, he used a little boy yeah. with a little lunch was a, or you could say small lunch mm -hmm. and thousands came i mean people got fed how did mom know she was going to pack the lunch for her little son or her little boy and he was going to go to this meeting where jesus was speaking <laughs> and jesus knew and he sent his disciples out and say hey First of all, they came to Jesus and said, you know what, you got to send him away because we, we, we ain't got food to feed all these people. Mm. <laughs> so, you know, get him out of here. Mm. <laughs> and Jesus says, where's your, well, he didn't say that. He said, where's your faith? Then won't you go and find out what they've got mm. and then bring it to me. Mm -hmm. This is me. Well, finally they found 
the little boy with the lunch. Mm -hmm. And they're thinking, you know, when we show this little boy that brought a small lunch, he'll say, okay, guys, send him away. Mm -hmm. No, he says, okay, that's enough. Mm -hmm. He blessed them, and guess what? They started spreading from that lunch the little boy brought that mom packed for him. Mm -hmm. He says there was many left over. Mm -hmm. Many, many, many left over. Everybody got fed, everybody got fed, and still there was left over for them. So praise God, you know. Mm -hmm. So who are we? We know that he can supply all of our needs, amen? Yes. But he used a little boy, mm -hmm. lots and lots of, lots of faith. David, a little shepherd boy, even his father, Jesse, says, well, yeah, I got another son. The man of God told him, says, oh, you got another son? And he says, yeah, but he's only a little shepherd. You know, I've got him out there with the sheep. He said, well, bring him. Mm -hmm. And he come past in front of the man of God. And the man of God says, God told him, he says, that's him. He's the next king of Israel. Mm. I said, praise God. And you see yourself as nobody. And God called you. And he's qualified to you. Yes, and he, yes. You're the next one. You're, mm -hmm. That's how favorite you are. That's how special you are to him. Yes, yes. See yourself the way he saw David at the time, you know, because you are special to him. So don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Amen. Yes. Just a few more and then we'll stop. Jonah ran from God. He ran so hard he fell in the belly of a whale. I mean a fish. <laughs> some of us, listen, some of you that are watching, some of you listening, you've been running from God too long. Mm -hmm. It's time you say, stop playing this game and say, hey, yeah. surrender yourself, commit yourself, yeah, yeah. submit yourself, and come to Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now's the time. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Woo. Peter denied Christ three times. The disciples fell asleep on him. Say, hey, can you even stay awake? <laughs> oh my god oh oh here uh, last one is <laughs> he used a donkey <laughs> yeah and the donkey spoke yeah he said why are you beating me you know <laughs> donkey wouldn't move he saw the man of god he saw the angel there and, and he wouldn't move he beat him he said why are you why are you why are you beating, beating on me you know so if he can use a jackass <laughs> yeah he can use all of us. Amen. All right. <laughs> and, 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 and to top it off here is Lazarus was dead. Mm, yes. He was dead. And you know what? Jesus purposely took time to get there. Mm. And when he got there, they come running to him and told him, you know, forget it. You know, he's dead. I mean, it's four days now. You know, he stinks. <laughs> but not for Jesus. He knew, said, where is your faith? Mm -hmm. And he spoke, and Lazarus came forth. Amen. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I don't care how long you've been dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how long you've uh, uh, been away from, from God, yes, or yes. How, how long you've been running from God. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's time yeah. to come to Christ. Amen. Yeah. So we'll close right there. Amen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> if, uh, if you're running, and you know, some of you, I, I, you know how many people I've talked to and say, you know, I know I have a call of God on me, you know. I've been called to do this. I've been called to preach. I've been, but, you know, they, they're they afraid and they say, well, it's, too, it's been too long and it's too late. No, it's not. You're listening. You're watching. Yes, it's you. This is for you. Amen. So now it's time. Amen. All you need to do is say, <laughs> Lord, I repent, you know, I confess every sin, I repent, I come to you, come into my life, be my Lord and Savior, yes. and it's time for me to get busy for things for you, for you. amen, and it yes. is, so you remember that, and it's time for you to, yes. to start growing in the things of God, get yes. in the Word, get in the, in the church where you can uh, study the Word and, 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 uh, and, and, and grow in the Word, yes. and start growing and doing it for Him. He's not giving up on you. We've given up on him. We've given up on ourselves. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't do that anymore. So praise God. Amen. Some of you <clears throat> have sickness in your body. But that's not the word of God says. By Jesus Christ, you were healed. Mm -hmm. So any malfunctions in your body, we just call them well. He says, the creator made me. And I'm just calling those parts, those uh, things right now, to function the way God created to function. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Heavenly Father. 
how to recall our bodies well, recall our bodies healed, lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Amen. So we lay your hands on you and say, by Jesus Christ, I am healed. Amen. So whatever it is, he knows about it. So praise God. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. I'm blessed. Amen. And uh, it's time again. <laughs> you're watching, you're listening, you want to give, and you still can. So just go to our website, nbcbigben.com, and hit that donate button. If you're mailing it to us, NBC Field Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Mm -hmm. And now um, you cash out at New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Praise God. God loves you and we love you. Have a blessed day. Amen.